okay now we are moving to our project our project is a LED night rider design you know when you hear the name night rider it is a very popular light pattern we are going to create using LEDs here when the, when the circuit is working it looks like LEDs are moving from to the right side and to the left side continuously to build this project I am going to use C programming language you know that C is a high level programming language so that you can easily understand the syntax of microcontroller programming in C we use micro C software to implement our project and before we are implementing or before we are writing the codes I would like to show the circuit diagram that you have to build for this project this is the schematic of our project this is not a very complicated one this is very simple one you can build this circuit on a project board or on a Vero board or even you can use a PCB here are let's see what are the component of this circuit there are 8 LEDs connected to the port B port B pins of PIC 16F84 microcontroller through 8 resistors here I am used 330 ohm resistors to protect the LEDs from the high voltage because you know the microcontroller emit 5 voltage of 5 voltage to the LEDs if you know if you don't use resistors it will harmful to the LEDs and here I am connected the crystal oscillator to the microcontroller to the correct operation of the microcontroller it required the oscillator connect outside from the microcontroller crystal is a very st stable oscillator you can uh, you can find a crystal oscillator very easily it is not a very expensive component and other thing is here I am supplied a DC 5 voltage to the circuit to the correct operation of the microcontroller it required clear clearly smooth to the correct operation of the microcontroller it required clearly smooth DC 5 voltage these are the component of this circuit you can see there are only very limited number of components rather than using the digital ITs ICs this is the advantage of microcontroller programming than using microcontrollers we can use very limited number of components to implement these kind of projects okay here is a in this image you can see a build version of this circuit this circuit I am built on a, I built on a Vero board uh, here they, you can see there are eight green LEDs connected to the microcontroller through resistors and this is the IC base microcontroller is not connected this is the IC base we are going to use to connect the microcontroller to the circuit and here this blue small component is uh, the is the crystal oscillator and here I'm used the uh, here I used the uh, voltage regulator to regulate the voltage to DC 5 voltage because it is very safe and it is to the correct operation of the microcontroller it required DC 5 voltage very smooth voltage now let's see what are the software that we are going to use in our project basically we are implementing this our project using C programming language so that we are going to use micro C to write code and compile the code and to simulate the circuit here I am using Proteus ISIS professional edition it is not a requirement it is not a must you I am using only to simulate this circuit and show you how the circuit is working before we are inserting this code insert the compiled version of code to the microcontroller and IC programmer this is small software we are going to use to program the microcontroller that means to program the microcontroller using the compiled version of our project basically you need IC programmer and micro C to implement this project okay now you can see here this is the flowchart of our project flowchart of our algorithm the night traders design algorithm it is very important to create this kind of flowchart before we are going to implement microcontroller projects because when we create this kind of flowchart we can easily get an understand which we can easily plan our task what we are going to implement after creating a correct flowchart it is very easy to implement the project using a programming language C or assembly okay now see what are the steps that we are going to use in our project to implement the night trader LED design pattern when I show you the schematic of the circuit I told you that we are going to use the port B port B of 
microcontroller PIC 16F84 microcontroller okay according, according to the, this flowchart the first step of our project is to turn on the first LED turn on the first LED mean we set the zeroth bit zeroth bit of port B microcontroller to the first to the number one that means the first LED connected to the port B is turned on after first LED is turned on we need a delay delay for one second one second or you can change this time by when we are implementing the project by changing the values of our C program C code let's assume that we need one second of delay after after one second of delay our flowchart is coming to a decision point here there is a condition the program check the seventh bit of port B for one seventh bit is here in this picture you can see the seventh bit is here of port B this condition check the seventh bit of port B for one if it is not if it is not set to one the flow of the diagram is more to right side here it called a procedure called shift program shift port B left by one you know that when the turn on first LED only the zero bit of port B is set to one so seventh bit of port B is not set to one the condition is here false now it is called a procedure to shift port B left by one shift port B left by one mean turn off the zero bit turn on the first turn off the first LED then turn on the next LED that means set the first bit of port B to 1 now it is coming to the coming here again it wait for one second of delay and again coming to the decision point or the condition it check again 7th bit for port B now you know 7th bit is, is still 0 the first bit is now turn, set to 1 the flow of the diagram is again moved to the right side again call the shift port B left by one condition now turn off the second LED and turn on the third LED again wait for delay and check the condition you know when the when this condition is looping when this part of the diagram is looping LEDs are moving to the left side one by one here there's a moment the seventh bit of port B is set to 1 then this condition is true and the flow of the diagram is moved downward now it's called the procedure shift port B right by 1 if the 7th bit of port B set to 1 it called the procedure shift port B right by 1 what do what is doing by this shift port B right by 1 is again moving the LEDs to the left side now the condition is true the procedure is called shift port B right by one turn off the seventh bit and turn on the sixth bit again it called a delay after again coming to decision point this decision point check zero bit of port B for one you know now the sixth bit of port B is set to one that means sixth LED is turned on this condition is not true it is false so it is coming here again call the procedure to shift port B right by one now turn off this LED and turn on the next LED again wait for a delay and again coming to a decision point now this part of this procedure is looping that means the result is LEDs are moving to the right side one by one that is done by the shift port B right by one procedure the final outcome of this algorithm you can understand this part of this procedure is moving LEDs to the right side and this part this iteration of this algorithm moving LEDs to the left side the final result is when this algorithm infinitely executing we can see a night rider design on our circuit LEDs are looks like moving to the right side and again to the left side continuously this is the algorithm of our night rider design now our task is convert this flowchart to a program or implement this pro 
implement the program using C programming language.